This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. They forgot what I've done in this game. They forgot who I am. I want to play a game. In his backyard, down two rounds. On the third round, he comes and knocks me out. I want to play a game. It's spanned across years, across two different combat codes. The game is not over. So yeah, I'm down three. What if I get it done better than he's ever done it? What if I butcher him and beat the fuck out of him? And it's time to remind people how great I am. Ladies and gentlemen, we are mine! Alex Pineda wearing the Brazilian colors. Sean Strickland counters in white. I've wanted this one all week, man. This this is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. This one has a lot of stakes on it, too. A level change or a shot on Bahada would be good because he's. Oh! oh! That's, 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 that's why. That's why. I mean, that's the same hook he knocked out at a Bom, muitas pessoas falam das duas vitórias que eu tive contra Israel Adesanya, mas além disso, a gente tá falando de kickboxing, né? Hoje é MMA, eu bati no 4 do rank. Então eu mereço disputar o cinturão. Everyone has to fight him in a mixed martial arts fight. If you're standing there kickboxing with him, it's a problem. Data has come out to watch this one. He is octagon side right now. Earlier on, I had a fight night where um, kickboxing fight, people were like, if you leave it to the judges, that was the Glory World title fight. I was younger and I, I was silly. I let the fight previous to that, when I fought for the world title in kickboxing, I got ripped off as well. Glory middleweight champion of the world! I let those things get to me, and then when I had him on the ropes in that moment, I was like, right, I'm not leaving it to the judges. I'm going to finish the fight. And that's never been my mentality. Job. I f***ed this guy up in the first fight. I think he won the first fight. I felt like I handily won. Not crazy, but the judges gave it to him. He didn't even see in our faces. He thought he lost the fight, but then when his hand got raised, he was surprised, and I was surprised. Really judging. Second fight, I had him on skates. In the second kickboxing fight, Adesanya right. had him on skates. Right. He was in real trouble. But in that moment, I, I got too hungry, and then I, I blew my load a little bit. And then the third round, he, he knew he had to, he did his work. And I made a judgment call, an error, because in his backyard, down two rounds, on the third round, he comes and knocks me out. That's a beautiful story for him. He who laughs last, laughs best. And I'm gonna have the last laugh. Keep in mind, this is 2017, and a lot has changed since then. He's uh, special, man. I think he's gonna be the next big superstar. I really do. Since joining the UFC in 2018, Adesanya ripped through the middleweight division. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. And now, a global superstar. He's got everything going for him. Checks Spectacular all the talent. He watches all my fights, and every time I fight, like clockwork, he'll try and put something out like, I beat this guy. Meus principais títulos no kickboxing é campeão brasileiro, campeão pan-americano. Oito vezes campeão do glória. In these eight fights, I became the first champion of the glory. Two division champions simultaneously. At the end of the day, no one knows who the f*** he is. And he's going to be that guy when I'm world champion, when I'm a legend. He's going to be at some pub, talking some shit about, I beat that guy one time. The video that they posted, the interviews that the Serra Decena did, it motivated me to feel inspired. 
sempre achava que eu nunca ia chegar. Cannot overstate how excited I am for the debut of Alex Pereira. You want to talk about a guy with ridiculous power. Perhaps the most feared kickboxer on earth. You know, Ele estaria melhor, né? Porque eu acho que a trocação dele pro MMA, ela caiu. There it is. We talked about this like two days ago. Like, well, yeah, we need something new, especially after you left the division again. The truth is, for Pereira, he has a bit of a head start. If he can capitalize on all the hype and the wins over Izzy in the kickboxing, it won't take him long. You've got the guy who beat him twice in kickboxing, Alex Mejeda, on the same card as the title fight. They've been asked more about me this whole fucking fight camp than each other. So you need to focus on the work you're doing, because trust me, he will sleep you hey, not. What a performance by Alex Pereira, knocking out Sean Strickland, only the second man to do so. He is a great fighter, but I know what true greatness is. Adesanya versus Pereira is one of the biggest fights of my life. It's one of the biggest fights of my life. You're certainly on the champion's radar right now. Israel was talking about you heading into this fight. And this TikTok generation has 15 second memory, so they forget. All they see is a knockout. And these ain't big pillow gloves. These are four ounce deadly weapons, and I can't wait to drive that through his face. No, it actually makes me confused because with those two fights in the, in the knockout, actually, he claimed to be a pillow, but you know. Now we talk about four ounce gloves. With the big pillows already making him live on a stretcher with the gas balloon on him. So imagine what is gonna happen on the four ounces. I think he's gonna have a conversation with Dana White trying to get away from that fight. He spent a childhood watching cartoons. I spent a, my, my childhood work on a tire shop. I didn't watch no cartoons. I'm the big dog in this yard. I'm the champ. You wanna come get it. You can't stand in front of that man. Did you see that? That dude's made out of mahogany. I want to test myself against everyone of this era who's the beast. He hits people and it doesn't even make sense. Really? Yeah. Like, he's the same size as these I like it though. I like the tailored made matchups because it makes a bigger story. But he's here and I like it and I want it. But the fight is done. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, semana da luta, na verdade, domingo. Pô, esse aqui, esse aqui foi na minha, na minha luta contra o Adesanya em São Paulo, quando eu nocautei. Aí o Alessandro subiu em cima do ringue. Eu tinha subido no ringue, aí eu peguei uma garrafinha e imitei, imitei como meu pai fez. This is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. He's beaten everybody and he's beaten some of them twice. Israel Adesanya on his way to becoming the greatest middleweight champion of all time. I have a point to prove. It's just I'm, I'm the better striker as well. Yeah, he caught me. I never ever once said it was a lucky shot, ever. I've always given him credit for that. Set it up nicely. Great story for him. I've never ever in my life said it was a lucky shot. He's a very confident person. But do you think that deep down, like you never forget that? that no, of course, it's something that doesn't forget. It's something that when it happens with us, it's something very sad. Oh, how about that New York? It is great to be here for the U.S. annual showcase. I've accepted this isn't like he's not like the other guys who I've fought recently. He, once he feels me, he's not going to try and shy away. Which you know is what I like. I like a guy who likes to fight because I love to fight. Quando foi anunciado que eu ia lutar com ele, ele e toda a equipe dele mudaram o discurso. Não aceitar, não queriam aceitar. Isso demonstra que eu mexi psicologicamente com a cabeça dele e toda a equipe dele. Don't worry, hey, he's got bragging rights. Talk all the you want. Talk all the you want. Because trust me, they can't save you either when you're locked in there with me. This pay-per-view feels absolutely monstrous. Obviously speaks to the depth of the card, but we're just excited getting ready to go. And you know, I'm just anxious talking to you, my man. I don't know if that speaks to just how big a show this is, but uh, I can't wait to get started. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the way in for UFC 281 on Asanya versus Renee.
since his opponent Israel Adesanya did it has a middleweight made such a rapid rise to prominence his power is extraordinary he flatlines the best fighters in the world and Adesanya has to be very very aware of that so Israel Adesanya he has never been beaten at 185 pounds seven UFC title fights for Adesanya and he is about a two to one favorite here tonight as he tries to produce a title defense against that man Poatan that he just wants in the worst way here we go here we go this one is gonna be fun boys round one for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship that's where the confidence is coming from this is an opportunity for him to get revenge and to show how great he truly is and Pereira certainly looks a lot bigger than he did in those kickboxing meetings five years ago. Oh. Pops him with a jab. That jab's on point here. Now he goes up high. Pace himself for five rounds. Never been 25 minutes in MMA. Oh, nice right hand nice by Izzy. Nice right hand by Izzy. Oh, good kick to the body. But Adesanya would be more likely to do that tonight. Oh, good kick to the body. Big. Oh, Jesus. That's where it gets dangerous. Yep, there's that money making oh. left hook. Pereira had more success. He landed some good body shots, and he landed a big knee. Oh! oh he hurt him. Juice right oh. left at the end of the round. Oh. There it is. Hurt him bad. bad. He hurt him bad. Pereira trying to get his wits about him back to the stool. It's going to be a long minute. Before the horn, so a legal strike. And we'll see if the champ can capitalize. He's trying to calm down the Madison Square Garden masses. Pineda looking for more of that noise. Round two, early leg kick for the champ. Oh, Pineda seems to have recovered. Little slip on the fence by Adesanya. And he goes high. He's never had to fight a guy as talented as his own oh. right hand. If you tell Alex that he has to spar, oh! oh. going on in the kickboxing realm. Big round for the champion. <laughs> the championship rounds. And in this position. Beautiful sequence by Adesanya. The champ starting to open oh. up now. Get medal though from Adesanya after a tough round two. Yeah. To take control of this fight in rounds three and four. 20 down, five to go. Woo. But the danger is still there with this guy. Kamal Usman certainly didn't sit on his lead against Leon Edwards. Oh. Big leg kick for Pereira. Backs out of Sanya. That was a check. That was a check. He checked the kick and, and it hurt his leg. Body tonight. Oh, oh, oh he's here. Here.
despite picking Adesanya that he had to be perfect for 25 minutes and Pineda absolutely unequivocally did not need to be perfect. So I don't know if I'm Adesanya, I lay back in the cut a little bit. Technically, Alex is 3-0 and against the guy, right? I mean, I do, you, do you put that history into it when you start thinking like, well, well I can't go a fourth fight? That, that style bender fight, how crazy was that? Fucking crazy, isn't it? Like, similar to the last time, same story. And for Pajera, I mean, that was, what a Cinderella story. It was like straight out of a movie. It's a fucking the game they play, man. It's psychologically now. I mean, you, I could see you rectifying the wrong with the kickboxing and winning this fight, but now you even lost an MMA in a pretty dramatic fashion. I mean, it's another great story for him, but it's not over. This is still war. Yeah, I put it on the line, and this is what happens again. Dare to be great, and I am. You know, I mean, Izzy knocked a lot of fucking people unconscious. Yeah. Is he, you know, put it on everybody in the division? I think that there's a lot of benefits to Adesanya uh, hanging back, waiting for things to play out a little bit. Right. And at least on paper, Alex Pajera is one of the best kickboxers of all time. You, you can let it eat at you. I just, what is that? It doesn't serve me. I'm not, I, I have a big imagination and I live sometimes in, in a fantasy, but. I make my fantasies reality, but then when reality happens, and it's like, hmm, okay, accept it. I just, I've been here before. Fucking what I've done for the, for the, for the game. I'm like, don't, don't you dare. So I earned the rematch because of the work I've done. You only go here because of the work I've done, <laughs> off the work on my back. So I'm like, nah, I earned the right to do this. So I'm gonna whoop his ass. Oh, he said like, oh, I don't think he's gonna want to meet a rematch. I'm like, fuck, he doesn't know me. Yeah, I'll fight you until I beat you. My life's a movie. In his head, he's the protagonist. In my view, my POV, I'm player one, I'm the protagonist, he's the antagonist. I don't give a fuck, I'll be 60, I'll come to your favela, I'll knock on your fucking tent door. <laughs> Cause I, this is just me. I don't give a fuck, even if it's just one, cool, yeah. I beat you. Everything is just falling into place like I'm in a matrix. Two division champion simultaneously. So he was the 185 pound champion and the 205 pound champion. was knocking people into another dimension in kickboxing. It's not over. This is still war. Biggest grudge matches of the year. Alex Pereira versus Israel Adesanya. This is now time for my story. You know he's gonna go through the fire when he fights me every single time. The message from Israel, he is well prepared because I will be there. With certainty, this will mess with his head. There were three fights, two knockouts. I put this pressure on myself, my actions, and my words. Rising to the occasion, amongst all the noise, amongst all the naysayers, all the doubters, everything, and getting it done. He knows that I am very dangerous. Adesanya has his chance at revenge. So yeah, I'm down three. And then this is like, in every movie, that the one shot. It's my Eminem moment, my eight mile moment, you know? And this is it. This is it for me. Why do you think that Adesanya did this so fast? When I was a kid, I was in the street, and then my mother said, I'm going to tell you about your father. My father was brave, when I came home, I gave him a chinelada. E aí eu ficava ali de pouco com medo e não via a hora de meu pai chegar para me dar aquela chinelada já e ficar tudo certo. Honestly, I'm the hunter now. I've just been hunting, like in every sense of the word. I don't care. I'm focused on right now. This is probably the greatest storyline in MMA history. They forgot what I've done in this game. They forgot who I am, and it's time to remind people how great I am. Like I said, I don't keep score. I settle them. What's up, Miami? How are you guys? We've got the first question. And for you, Izzy, on, on Saturday, what is most important to you? Is it about regaining the UFC title and being world champion again, or is it simply be the belt? I'm coming for his head. This is my eight-mile moment. This is it. One more shot at this. I put everything on my back. 
Ele fez isso nas últimas três lutas. Ele falou a mesma coisa e não fez. And what's gonna happen this weekend is we're gonna fight and see who the best man is at the end. Ele me faz rir. Uh, I just have to ask, what is this thing you're wearing on your neck right here? I'm a dog. It's a dog collar, and I'm about to be unleashed. This is often defined not just by victories, but how one overcomes adversity. My Let's go. The intensity of this rivalry is so palatable and palpable and felt by everybody in this mixed martial arts arena. I'm not one to back down from any challenge. I fear no man. Izzy has an angry look in his face. He does. Chapter two slash chapter four begins now. Here we go, boys. All right, gentlemen. You ready, Izzy? You ready, Alex? Round one. Let's go. I wonder how fast Adesanya will start. The hit right away goes right back to that outside leg kick. Two more hard low kicks landed. Kick or the punch is coming. All these strikes, man. Such high level kickboxing technique. The stance that he's attacking for Hayden. in. Another hard low kick to that calf. But well, Hayden's done such a good job of beating up that leg already. And Alex Pereira just brewing with confidence after what he got done over those first 300 right, seconds. Just, I mean, so much confidence. And why wouldn't he be? Right. He landed a lot of good shots in that first round. Izzy tries to question my kick, front kick up the middle. Oh, Ooh. almost got hit with a head kick. And this is a scary Pereira when he closes the distance. Oh, jab to the body and a right hand up top. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Izzy's got to be careful here. Oh, oh. Pereira landed the left. Beautiful left hook there by Pajeda. Nice jab by Adesanya. Is now he lands a big right. right hand. Nice jab by Pajeda. You see the difference in the power, the, the consequences when this guy lands. Pajeda seems very hip to it right now, though. Oh, nice right, nice right hand to the body. That's good combination. Now Pajeda stalking here late in the round. There's that oh, leg kick again. That one hurt him. That one hurt him. Saw him buckle with that low kick. Not trying to bend the spoon. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. They hit us so oh, dangerous. My oh! Counter oh. right by Asadia! But it ain't done it now! Order to start! Asadia! Asadia has finally done it! He got a bad Israel! level of happiness just one time in your life. But guess what? You never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something in your own life. When they knock you down, when they try and on you, when they talk about you, and they try and put their foot on your neck, if you stay down, you will never ever get that resolve. Fortify your mind and feel this level of happiness as you rise one time in your life. But I'm blessed to be able to feel this Again and again and again and again and again. They say revenge is sweet. And if you know me, I got a sweet tooth. You already know this is sweet. <laughs>